Voting is underway in Knoxville. Voters are deciding city council, a judge's seat, and the race for mayor. Tennis reporter Ryan Connors joins us live outside downtown West. And Ryan, you spoke with experts about why this election matters. John Robin, I'm at one of six possible locations where you can come and cast an early ballot here in Knoxville. And as John just mentioned, this is coming after years of voter turnout being down in citywide elections. And this morning, I spoke with election officials about how they've been trying to increase the youth and college vote this time around. Voters will likely cast more than half of the ballots in this election during early voting. That's according to Bill Lyons with UT's Baker Center. It makes the, ball the ballot more accessible for folks because there's so many opportunities to vote uh, if they might be, you know, preoccupied or something might happen on election day. This year's city election comes after years of low voter turnout in Knoxville. There are more than 100,000 registered voters in the city of Knoxville, but since 2000, election officials have not seen more than 29,000 votes in a city election. That's less than a third of registered voters. Chris Davis, who's the administrator of elections in Knoxville, says this needs to change. Really one of those things that everybody gets excited about a presidential election, but it's really important to vote in these local elections because you can pick the mayor, you have a voice, and particularly in a low turnout election, every vote matters. Lyons says a lot of decisions regarding transportation, homelessness, rent, city development, and the climate are up to local politicians. A lot that affects people's day-to-day -day lives is determined by city council so and by the mayor. So it's critical that people inform themselves, pay attention, and turn out to vote. Election Commission wants to see 30,000 votes in this year's election cycle. The act of voting, the participating in the democracy itself is important to people. You're, there's buy-in. You're part of the community. You're part of the decision-making community. And that in and of itself has value. And now it's important to note, we've seen a lot of Knox County residents coming in today and getting turned away, unable to vote. So it's important to remind everyone that you have to be a city of Knoxville resident in order to vote in this election. Early voting is going until August 26th and the election day is set for August 29th. Back to you guys. Still a lot of time to make a difference. Ryan, thank you.